What's up Laravel developers, it's Dari here and I hope that you're having a great day. In this video, I want to show you how you could set up a local development for mailing in Laravel. Now before I continue on with the video, I want to quickly let you know that you can support the channel through Patreon, which is linked in the description down below. You will get some pretty cool benefits such as a private Discord group where everyone is helping each other out and you can decide the video series that I'm going to make through polls. So if you are interested to join, the link is in the description down below. In the last video, I showed you how you could e In the last video, I showed you how you could easily set up Mailtrap for mailing. And in this video, I want to show you how you can set up mailing for your local development. Because well, some of you might not want to set up Mailtrap or use the internet to test mailing. A very cool tool is Laravel's log driver, which will log all the emails that you try to send to your local Laravel file. Before I show you how you could set it up, I want to show you where the log file is located. Inside the root of our application, we need to search for a folder called storage, and usually it's stored at the bottom. Right here. And as you can see, there's a folder called logs in here. So let's open it. And you can see a laravel.log file. Let's open it. The content inside the log file depends on whatever you have done inside your application. If you have a freshly installed application, you probably won't have a log file because you haven't run into errors or done something with it. Just like setting up your mailing to Mailtrap or any other driver, you need to set your mailing to the log file. And this can be done in two different ways, but I will show you the most easiest one. If we open the .env file, you can see that our mail underscore mailer variable is set to SMTP. If we change it to log, save it, go back to the browser. Now in the last video, we set our mailing in a way that every time the forward slash email endpoint dot called, an email will be sent to a specific email. Let's hit enter. All right, let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Let's open our Laravel log file. Let's scroll to the bottom. And as you can see right here, you can see that our mail has been printed out, but it also includes the HTML part at the top. But you can also see a section where you just see plain text. This was it for this very easy video. In the next video, I want to show you how you could add attachments to an email. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.